Hey, it's John Horn on a beautiful and windy autumn afternoon, and I'd like to share a quick video with you today on how to play the calypso strumming pattern. Uh, if you don't know it, the calypso pattern sounds like this. This is just one bar of it. Plus the downbeat in the next measure. And when I think of this song, I think of songs like Brown Eyed Girl. I think of songs like Pink Houses, I think, uses it. The song Anyone Else But You from the film Juno, if you remember the last scene with Michael Sarah and um, Ellen Page. That's uh, mostly calypso strumming there. So lots and lots and lots of songs use the calypso strum. And I'm sure some people don't even know it's called the calypso strum, but that's what it's called in some texts, so we'll go with that. Um, so here's what it is, and I'll count it out the way we normally do. Remember, downbeats, we say the name of the beat we're on. One, two, three, four. Upbeats are all called and. So it would be counted. One, two, and, and four. One, two, and, and four. One, two, and, and four. Okay. Uh, let's go over the first half of it, which is pretty easy. You're playing down on beat one, down and up on beat two. Really nothing... Uh, difficult or unusual about that. So the first half is one, two, and three, four. One, two, three. Notice that I'm keeping my hand moving in rhythm. I'm moving down and up with the beat just the way I'd be tapping my foot if you could see that and the way you nod your head if you're at the club. So even when we're not playing, we want to keep this hand moving. give you a better sense of time and what's coming next is really important. This is the part that I find most people screw up. We've got to play down, down, up, and then we've got to play another up stroke. If you're not used to swinging your hand down, I see sometimes people freeze and then by the time they're ready to play that up stroke, they run down here and it's too late. Or they try to strum down instead of strumming up. I'm not sure I can even demonstrate that because it feels so weird to me, so I'm not even going to try. But swing down without hitting the strings. That's the first thing to practice. And stop right on that area. So in other words, we'll go down, down, up, miss, because you're missing the strings. Down, down, up, miss. Down, down, up, miss. If that feels weird to you, keep doing it. And make yourself strum down without hitting the strings. Once you get a little more comfortable with that, Follow through for the rest of the measure and keep your hand moving up, down, up, and you're back to where I just got to uh, demonstrate it for you a second ago, which is this, this, up, down, up, okay? Now the rest of the measure, you're simply playing up, down, up, which most people can get once they get past that little hump of playing uh, the missed string, so to speak, on beat three. So it is down, down, up, miss, up, down, up, down, down, up, miss, up, down, up. Once you get used to that idea, it's very easy. Uh, there's a couple other ways you could look at it. You could look at it as if uh, beat three is anticipated. So instead of playing one, two, three, and four, it's like you're coming in early for beat three. One, two, three, and four. That's not really the way you'd count it, but sometimes the way it's felt. It feels like you're coming in early with three. Okay. Uh, that might be one way to look at it. I know other students have found it easier once they just think of it differently and think of it as two downstrokes, two upstrokes, and then one of each. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Of course, you've got to get the rhythm right. Down, down, up, up, down, up. So uh, any of those things might work for you. But for me, I think the biggest thing is making sure you're keeping your hand moving all the time and making sure when you get to beat three that even though you're not going to hear any sounds there, you're not going to make any sound there, you want to make sure you're swinging down past the strings and ready for that upstroke. So here's one more time. Move us some chords, E minor, C, D, back to G. One more time. 
I hope that little review helped and uh, got you on the right path. Make sure if you have troubles, down, down, up, miss. Do that for a while. Down, down, up, miss. You might feel like you have to force your hand to go down because you're not used to doing it yet. Once you get used to it, it'll just be like letting your hand fall down. It's not any, not any problem at all. So hopefully that helped. If you have questions, ask away in the comments section. And uh, look for more videos soon. Thanks.